Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lam Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing one of these new LucasAid Alert drinks, but this one is going to be on the Tropical Burst. So yes, LucasAid are obviously best known for their normal glucose drinks, which is like glucose, sugar and energy and stuff, which don't actually contain caffeine. So they've recently released this flavor, which is a Tropical Burst and also a cherry version as well. And basically these are literally an actual energy drink. So they've actually got the caffeine in it rather than just more of the glucose energy, which is what the other LucasAids are marketed on. So it's a little bit tricky to find this one and the cherry flavor, which I have already reviewed. A little bit tricky to get hold of, but I actually found these out of a random corner shop when I was in Birmingham for work, actually. And it cost me £1.39, which is actually quite expensive. Now, yes, they have got sugar in it, so there's a little bit of money there for the sugar tax. But £1.39 is really quite expensive because you think a can of Monster or even a full price Rockstar now, that's still £1.39. It's almost one fifty for a can, which is an awful lot of money. I mean, at least it's a 500ml can. But uh, yeah, the prices of these drinks to see going up and up and up but anyways so let's give you guys a 4 for 60 of the can so most of the can is yellow and to be honest with you we have kind of a, a weird design here it's kind of a basic simple design actually and to be honest with you it looks a bit more cheap it looks more like a cheaper can design cheaper brand design which is a bit i don't know weird from lucas i didn't really expect this kind of design from lucas aid here Taking a closer look, so on the back, we've just got the ingredients and stuff, which is mostly in white writing. And then on the front, we've got the price at the top there, and it's kind of just cut off. It's literally just a black band, which I think just looks a bit weird, because normally with other with other cans, like if you get like a, you know, like the new rock stars or something like that, the price goes all around the top, all around the top and the outside. It looks just more smart. So that just looks kind of, it's like in your face, kind of just there. And it's got two stars next to it, which I'm not sure what that means. I guess that's just different pricing. But uh, yeah, it just looks a bit odd. And then around the top, they've got high caffeine and then Vit B3. So it's just kind of, it's a bit abbreviated here and there, which just looks a bit weird. I don't get it. And then on the front, you've got all the Lucas Egg writing in white as well. And it's kind of just, they've almost just angled it. And it's just very basic, simple font, not really that interesting to look at. And you behind it, you've just got this kind of, I don't know, like, lines coming out like they've done it on paint or something so it's very basic and simple and it does look like you know if you take take off the lucas aid uh, wording it does look like just a, a cheap corner shop brand doesn't it if you take off the lucas aid packaging so you could just call it alert or something and you just wouldn't think it'd even be lucas aid so yeah it doesn't look as expensive or as posh as i think lucas aid should be in general like their bottles which are a lot more nicer design but yeah i think it just looks just looks a bit cheaper overall so there you go. On the bottom, we've got nothing. And on the top, everything's all standard and silver, including the pull ring. So taking a close look at the can again on the back. So, Lugosade Alert, stimulation drink. So, 160 milligrams of naturally sourced caffeine, vitamin B3 to help reduce tiredness, refreshing, great taste. Sparkling tropical energy drink with sugar and sweetener. So, so this has got sugar in it, and the sugar is four grams per 100 ml. So it is on the low side. Now it's just below half. So it's almost got that kind of weird quarter, quarter sugar. And the total can contains 20.1 grams of sugar, so it is very low. Now for the vitamins, of course, our usual vitamins are panathenic acid, uh, niacin, vitamin B6, and B12. But this one has only got niacin, which is interesting. So no panathenic acid no vitamin B6 or B12. So yeah, they've gone a bit less on the vitamins as well, which is just a bit weird. Looking at the caffeine content, the caffeine content is bang on the average though at 32 milligrams per 100 ml. So it's, so it's bang on the average there. And looking at the ingredients as it is low sugar, what sweeteners do we have? We have a Sulaflame, uh, a Sulaflame K and Sulaclo. So no aspartamate, which is good at least. And last but not least, as this is, Tropical Burst is probably going to be closely related to Lucas Age Tropical Flavor already. But just for reference, this contains fruit juices from concentrate, uh, pineapple, mango, and passion fruit. So basically, the usual tropical fruits you get in these drinks. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, let's see. The color is probably going to be some sort of yellow or orange. If it's not, then... Well, I'll be wrong. <laughs> and the smell and taste, well, like I said to you, it's probably going to smell very similar to Lucas Aid's normal tropical flavor, but there's only one way to find out. 
going to explode. There we go, we're safe. Right, and the color is. Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZestyLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favorites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting it to be that light. I was meant to be a lot, lot darker. Yeah, that's a really, really light yellow, isn't it? So quite a lot of small bubbles on the top there and not too many bubbles on the side. So I did get a whiff of smell there and it instantly reminds me of the LucasAid tropical tropical uh, smell. But we'll get to that on the second. So the colour is yellow, but it's... Oh, it's got bits in it. But um, it, yeah, it's really an off kind of dull yellow and it's kind of a little bit cloudy. You can kind of see my face through it, but that's got a load of pulp in it now it doesn't actually say on the drink that it's actually got bits and uh, just having a quick look again because it doesn't say anything about pulp um no, it doesn't say pulp it just says fruit juices from from concentrates it's from concentrate so it should have contained pulp now just to make it easier so you guys can see the pulp on camera i do have a light here and uh, let's see i don't know if you can really see it hang on Kind of a bit tricky to you can kind of see there's bits flowing you can kind of see that guys i do apologize for this but you can see there's yeah you can see the bits floating through there look at that you can see it moving all those bits so there's loads of little small bits in there again it's really really small so don't worry about it if you don't like pulp but there's really really small bits of fine pulp in there again 99 percent people wouldn't even know that if they just drink it straight out of the can but yeah it's so fine and so smooth you really wouldn't know it's even in there but yeah it's just interesting it has got little small bots of bits of uh, pulp in there but there you go anyway let's give it a closer smell and see what we can smell of yeah smells of pineapple for the most part which smells very similar to the lugazaid pineapple drink yeah smells nice of pineapple can't really smell the mango or or that just smells of pineapple but nevertheless guys let's taste some Yeah, it tastes like LucasAid's, LucasAid's pineapple drink. And without spoiling the other video for you, the cherry version of this drink, I kind of said that about the cherry version as well. It was literally LucasAid's cherry flavor just with caffeine. And this is what I think they've done with this tropical one as well. They've literally taken the the tropical version of it, albeit it only tastes of pineapple rather than anything else. And they've literally added caffeine and that's it. So it may well indeed literally be the exact same blend, just with added caffeine rather than anything else, which is, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing because I was expecting again with the cherry, a totally different blend. And I was expecting with this, you know, I was hoping for a totally different kind of tropical burst, but you know what? Because they've reduced the sugar in both their normal drinks and this drink as well, they literally could be the same blend. Now, of course, I don't have a bottle of Lugazade Tropical to hand to check the sugar content on a you know, bottle of normal Lugazade Tropical or pineapple or whatever. So I can't compare them off the top of my head uh, or by looking online. But for the most part, yeah, I literally think these are the same blends. And you know, it tastes fine because I like most of the Lugazade flavors. It tastes of nice pineapple. I can't taste the mango or anything like that whatsoever, which is, I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, but you know pineapple and stuff it's a power it's an overpowering fruit so it just overpowers most of stuff i mean it even overpowers the mango and stuff which again is another quite strong overpowering fruit let me take a few more sips like it's nice because the normal lucas is nice but i think with a lot of the lucas blends now in general because they have reduced your sugar in a lot of them they didn't used to be as potent or as strong as they used to be so the same goes for this one. So you've got the pineapple flavor there, but it doesn't taste like pineapple juice or anything like that. It literally tastes more of the fizzy type pineapple drink, which you get, which to be honest, there isn't many fizzy dry, uh, pineapple kind of drinks about. Now, I know this isn't specifically pineapple, but of course this is the dominant flavor in this drink. But in terms of, you know, artificial flavors or weird side taste or aftertaste, there's none of that in this drink, to be fair. You know, even though it's on the lower sugar side, can't taste any chemicals, can't taste any aftertastes, which is a good thing. 
but it literally is just a fizzy pineapple drink as in terms of the mango and everything like that i really can't taste anything else in the drink so ultimately if you take off the lugas a brand in the packaging you're literally left with just a fizzy pineapple drink that you wouldn't even know it's got caffeine in it you wouldn't even know it's made by lucas aid or anything like that so you know maybe what you will of that but as far as i'm concerned these tuna lucas aid alerts have been different and interesting but i wonder whether they'll bring out some more or make you know a newer blend of this you know if you look as egg guys are watching this video because i know some drink companies do reach out to viewers and, and you know content creators and look at people review their drinks so and it would be interesting to know if this is based off the actual Lugazade glucose blend, which I think it is. But you know what? It's another energy drink on the market. Would I pick this over a Monster or a Rockstar? Well, no, I'd rather have a Monster Ultra, which is sugar-free and, you know, tastes just as good. Some of the Monster Ultras, like, you know, the Ultra Fiesta Mango and stuff like that. So, you know, it may stay, it may disappear. They may bring out more flavours. They're probably just testing the market with their caffeine drinks. But again... It's one of those drinks that will probably only end up in corner shops and will not end up in supermarkets. And of course, as, much, as big as the kind of corner shop, you know, market is, a convenience store market is, you know, the supermarkets, you will, you'll always get your Rockstar Monster Red Bull in the supermarkets, which is why they're just so big and, you know, they're, the, you know, one of the richest drinks markets. So interesting from the Lucas Aid, but we'll see whether they stick or just disappear like many other brands and drinks have. So anyways, yes, I will give that a, I think I'll give it a thumbs up because it's fine. You know, I'll drink the rest of this. It was nice. It was tasty, but you know, it's just another drink on the market. So anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching. If you have tried the new Lugas Aid, let me know in the comments below. But as always, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. Or if you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Minimum support is one pound and I go towards new drinks, which means new videos on the channel. So as always, I will see you all later. Oh, <music>